Thank you for joining us for the Paint Your Own Wine Glass, our last Maker Monday for 2020. I wanted to show you that I have done different sizes of wine glasses and tumblers. This is a very easy craft to do. You can do it with your kids. You could do it with different glasses, different cups. This is just a, a little tumbler um, that I did, and I just put some tissue paper in it so you could read it. Um, one size says 2020, please be nicer, with some gold and silver dots. And the other side says, a lot can happen in a year. Isn't that the truth? It can happen in a year. So it's really easy to do. Um, I gave everyone some stencils. Uh, it, it's super simple to do. You can go online. Um, find some sayings. You can go on your Word document and print any sayings you want. I did a couple that I found that were cute. So you can pick one and I will show you how to put it in your wine glass and then paint. Or you can create your own. Um, and basically it's just a sheet of paper and you kind of want to leave maybe a couple inches at the top and a couple inches at the bottom of whatever your saying is. Like I said here, I did this one on the last tumbler. I just have some room on the top and room on the bottom because you're going to roll this into your wine glass. Let's see here. So take the paper and shape it and drop it in your wine cup like that. And then you're just gonna play with it until you get it where you want it. You, if you need to tape it, you can. Um, if you don't want to tape it, sometimes it'll just sit perfectly against there. And you're just using this to guide your hand with your marker. So I actually have done this one already. So simple. I actually wanted to do this one. So this one says, Happy New Year. Let this get focused for a minute. Happy New Year. 2021. There we go. And like I said, I don't have it taped or anything. I just have it sat inside the glass, kind of pressed it up against the edges where I like it. And the camera is going to be blurry again. And then we gave everyone um, Sharpie markers, gold and silver. You can use any color if you have them at home, any color you want. I just chose these two for the new year. Um, these are working well. The gold is a little harder to see than the silver, so I would start with the silver. <clears throat> you can also use black. Sorry about that. You can also use black, any color really. Um, and these are just the fine tipped Sharpie markers. Let's see, fine tip. I would suggest that maybe not using a fine tip, it will give you a little bit more volume of a design but I think these work fine for what we're doing. So you can also use the paint markers. Uh, those take a little bit more, I think, skill to use because it does come out quicker than the actual Sharpies, but you can use the paint markers if you'd like those too. It takes a little longer to dry. So once you have your saying in your glass where you think you'd like it, then you can go ahead and just trace it. Very simple, take your marker, and I'm just gonna copy right on here the outline. And it is a little difficult to see, but you'll see it going on. And I would go over it a, a little a little bit with the pen. Just kind of keep going over the spacing that you're doing. So I don't know if you could see my H. It might be hard to see on top of the outline, but I'm just going to let the camera adjust. You can see the shadow of it down there. So just going to go over your, your marker or your outline with your marker. You'll want to go over your marks a couple times because the marker will dry out a little bit on the glass. So you might want to turn turn your marker as you're using it to get more of the ink out. I don't know if you can see 
my Happy New Year on there. I'm going to start with a 20, 21. And if you're better at freehanding, go right ahead. Um, I like to have the guide of the stencil just because I am not very good at freehanding. kind of went off a little bit on this one here but okay now that I have that done I'm going to take it out and show you what it looks like without the see happy new year 2021 the camera adjust for a second here And then after that, you could do whatever any kind of decorations you want on it. Um, you can freehand on the back side. You can color the stem. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm not good at freehanding. So I think I'm just gonna kind of do some dots again at the bottom like that. So I took my gold and I'm just doing some dots all the way around. These make great gifts too if you're going to a, a party and the wine glasses are, are a dollar at the dollar store and I do believe our local um, Dollar General has these Sharpie markers. So there's my dots and gold. I'm going to go back and do some in silver. And obviously you're going to want to hand wash these. I wouldn't trust them in the dishwasher. Some dots down here, down here, down here. And if it is easier to see, like I, I had that tissue paper, you can always put that in there just to see what you're doing a little better. Um, put it down around the bottom here. So there's my dots and gold and silver around the base on my Happy New Year. And then some people have even gone as far as coloring this whole base in. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but if you want to, you're welcome to do that. I'm just going to do some dots around the base of it. Just to give it a little bit more character. And have fun. Do whatever you feel like you're creative with. And like I said, these are great gifts. If you want to customize them for people, you can make them for you know, stencil their initials onto them and give them as a gift for hosting a New Year's party if you're going out and about with family. I know a lot of you will probably be staying in, but there. So then I have my base done with some dots. I gotta get my sticker off there, but so that's what my base looks like around the bottom. I know our camera is not the greatest for zooming in on stuff, but so I have my first wine glass done for the new year. I hope you enjoyed doing this. I hope it was fun. I hope it gave you some creative ideas to do something different um, or to do other ones throughout the year. You could do, you know, anything for Cinco de Mayo, 4th of July, um, but have fun. Like I said, it's very inexpensive craft. Kids can do it with different size cups. Um, they can customize their own little cup to say their name if they want and draw a picture. Uh, but very simple, easy craft to do and very inexpensive with Sharpie markers and some dollar glasses from the dollar store.
Thanks and have fun.